What is going on with the other girl? Not Yayoi, but the other girl with the two gloves. I should know her name by now. Like, a couple episodes ago, we had to see her, like, Yandere face. And it was like, where did this come from? And she, that was the moment when he was, we were talking about how the main character subconsciously loved to be frightened. She even knew where he was when Yayoi was in danger and she left to go find him, right? They casually just, like, skipped over the fact. And someone mentioned, well, she had the Yandere look, therefore she's always keeping tabs on him somehow. There's something more going on with two hands. She somehow got cursed too, right? I don't know. We might find out more secrets today. Let's begin today's reaction. Uh, uh something about that creeps me out so much. Uh, dude, what the? F I. Uh, uh, I give me goosebumps, man. That was her hand. She has the same thing. <laughs> this is just so creepy looking. Yeah, Yoi doesn't care though. Wait, she she doesn't get any of that cut off though. Only he's been getting it cleansed. But what about her though? Is it really the same curse thing though? What if she doesn't want to be saved? I don't know. Uh-huh. I wonder why she's completely fine with, um... I don't know, she's never gotten it treated, right? He had to go in, like, quite often to get under Anastasia and get it treated, but... He never had to? Also, why is she so obsessed with them? Other than, like, just... Yandere. I mean, if it's for someone else, he has to do it, right? This is the classic main character trope of, like, I gotta do it for my friends. You gotta save Eiko, come on. Excited for orientation? The fuck? I, I mean, I guess that's the beginning of a new term, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's, if it's your, like, first college student life experience, then for sure. But to me, it's, like, the boring shit. I always skip the orientation shit. His hands are bleeding from holding the rose. What the fuck? Why is she popular? What did she do? Is Eiko popular? What did, what did she do? Is she a content creator? Is, is she an idol? What is she? Retired actor? Olympiad in informatics? Informa what is informatics? Oh. Huh. Huh. This is a twist. Eiko super important. I... I mean, they didn't mention anything like that. What is informatics? Logarithm. Is she just super smart generally? I, I don't know. No, they think you're a lolicon, bro. He is somehow so obsessed with Keitaro. Why? Don't know. Because they share the same connection after being cursed together? Maybe something more than that? Can you ever explain uh, Yandere's love? Not really? Mm. For some easy PC classes. <laughs> yes, the GPA boosters. Don't need them. Damn, that, wow, that's... She, she just made like 20 friends. <laughs> She doesn't care about that, right? Well, folklore? What? I... These are some useless college majors, man. <laughs> hmm. Lucky guy. But again, I want to know more about their backstory to understand why she's so infatuated with them. A VHS tape. Yo, you guys know what this is? Yo, if you, if some of you might be too young to realize what this thing is. It's an ancient artifact. Oh. <laughs> Dressed to complete a graduation project. What the f self immolation? Isn't that letting yourself on fire? He got so stressed from trying to finish a college project, he lit himself on fire? Holy shit. He's actually gonna just pour gasoline on himself. Yo, no schoolwork is this important that you need to do this. Huh. What are these shadowy figures? It looks like there's other people in the room, but they're just shadows. Are do they put gas? What? I. It almost sounds like they're making him do it, right? 
I love how conveniently when the gasoline's all on the ground, they're just gone now. Here, you can let yourself on fire by yourself. Huh? Why are you there? What? Can, can, no, everyone else sees it. Everyone else sees it. Why are you there? Hey, teacher, what's going on here? Could you imagine if Keitaro took damage? This is eerie as fuck. Why did it change to Keitaro? <laughs> teacher, what's up with this film? It's almost like you're laughing at... Hey, teacher, what's going on with the film? It's almost as if film is... <laughs> he got so scared. <laughs> this is sus, dude. Let's get the fuck out. Maybe the film is sentient and somehow reacted to Keitaro's supernatural presence. It's on fire. Like the film. Isn't that? Yeah! Because remember, these plushies can act as extra lives. It's all it's actually taking burn damage. Holy shit. And then what happens? Then Keitaro starts burning up, right? Can we get more plushies first, actually? Yo, we need more lives. Just destroy it? I, so, uh, it's like a purifying salt, right? Uh, what the f Oh, it's bleeding out? He just put some purifying salt and it kills it? So okay. And then the blood leaks out and then the spirit will be basically within that straw doll? So smart. So make it watch his own video. Okay. <laughs> this girl's cooking. She's actually thinking so hard. I, She just knew immediately. Well, I mean, it's the author writing in such a way where she sounds really smart, right? That she could just figure this shit out on the first pass, but I, I guess so. But surely it can't be that easy, right? Watch him start catching on fire. I don't know, man. It can't be that easy. You jinxed it. You jinxed it. Ah, he's catching on fire! Oh! This is actual serious burn mark. What the fuck? What about me, man? Oh, okay. I love... Oh, oh. yo, yo, yo. Eiko, you hearing this? Eiko, you hearing this? Not much of a reaction. I thought she she might be like love. Yeah, why did Keitaro get cursed? Because he's a special being. He just I don't know his hand, you know. He's got a deep connection with the curses. Does he always care for you? Because there's spirits involved. I don't know. Jesus. You see what I say, Eiko? You couldn't die. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> I don't know. Something is so... The, the contrast between, you know, the fucking parents grieving the death of this child and Eiko like, Oh my god! So technically it was her fault? Oh. Huh. Well, if, if that's the story and she forced him to come here and then she... He ended up protecting her. They both got cursed. Oh, okay. So it's not really his fault entirely then. Aww. At least we're actually getting lore about these two, right? Drive home. What? No, no, it's not a joke though. Okay, so we just drive him, but he's naked. Yeah, this kind of looks like a porn show. I don't know. I, the, the fact that there's a curtain right over here and he's naked in the back. Yo, what the fuck? Hold on. This is kind of looking sus as fuck. It doesn't look like his dick, dude. But wrapped up, you know? Let's ghost. I saw that. Here we go. Yo, you put that shit outside. <laughs> Well, does it really work like that? I don't know. Because, like, quite often, you just get a bigger flame if air is involved. Like, you know, the combustion has a lot of oxygen involved. You can't just, like... I don't know. If the wind was so strong, I guess it could overwhelm it. But we'll see. 
<laughs> Yo, I, I think if we had more water, it'd be a lot easier, but okay. This is so dangerous. This is so well, we can't stop now, right? Or the fire. Yeah, I mean, we gotta fucking just gasp to the pedal. Bro, it's not helping. It's not helping at all. Don't you dare break. Yo. Haven't we learned? Didn't it, didn't Yayo's parents die from a fucking car, like a traffic accident? Well, technically, spirits took care of them afterwards, right? But I think it worked. No more fire. All right. Interesting. It, it, very interesting way to fight off the spirits this time. What if it's not over just yet? All right. Welcome home. <laughs> time to meet your friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's torture time. It's almost like every time some shit goes down because we try to chase the supernatural. It's been four fucking episodes. What did you think was gonna happen? I understand that the story must move forward, but like, I don't know. There seems to be a, a pattern of behavior here. Whenever we go towards the supernatural path, we get into supernatural ship. Maybe we should stop. I don't know. This is the... We're nearing the end of the episode. Nothing terrifying though? Like the... Past three episodes? Okay. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe I jinxed it? Are we gonna have a terrifying scene? Hmm. Eiko by herself. Now, does she act diff- what, What's in here? Does she act different when she's by herself? What is this? What the fuck is- Is this how she knew? Where he was last episode, right? Remember? What the fuck is this? Do you have a CCTV at home? These pictures all have these like weird dark marks though. I love. She heard that, right? I love. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's the blush. This is actually kind of deranged. I don't know. Some guys might love it when there's a girl this dedicated towards you, but it's also kind of scary though, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, and there's that smile again, bro. That toothless, just black smile. Dude, what is up with her? Yeah, whoever mentioned that, you know, because she was a yandere, that's how she knew exactly where he was. Makes sense, bro. What is that room? It's like a little private room where she just like, it's like a stalker room. So many pictures of Keitaro. There seems to be this, like, there's like a, a dark mark, but I'm, I think that's just like the cursed energy or spirits just like manifesting on him because of the time they got cursed. I'm not really sure, but she just keeps tabs on him. Yo, hey, it just means that she's a very loyal, caring, right, girlfriend. That's exactly, that's exactly what this is. Nothing else, right? I don't know, man. That Yandere smile, or just pitch black smile without any tooth. Shit's actually kind of terrifying, but Eiko's voice acting versus how she acts compared to the Yandere self, it's just a contrast. I'm like, there's no way she can be like that. It's like, no, she is a freak. And I kind of like it, but hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.